Jesus! A wise man once said, if you want to get stuff done, but you haven't got enough time, you need to sleep faster. So welcome to Motor Mornings. Good morning everyone, good morning. It's Motor Mornings and it's Monday. Oh, another start to the week. And what am I doing? Back on Dirk Diggler. Just a quick recap. The bearings are shot on number three. Uh, and quite possibly, I have to do some investigation, aren't I? See whether this can be reground or not. Um, being what I believe a gold seal engine, I don't know. Um, but uh, chatting to Paul Jeffries, he said basically just have a look at the um, the bearings, and they'll tell me what if they've already been overground. So, but that's not the job for today. The job for today is, or this morning, is to take the timing chain off. Um, oh yeah, and I suppose there's not much after that, is there? Once I've done that, I could probably take the crank out. There we go, that's, that's the job for this morning. So that's what I'm up to. Uh, more importantly, what am I watching on YouTube? I'm only watching William Murphy doing the old, uh, his thumbnail is brilliant. He's got seam sealer on fire. It's horrible stuff, seam sealer. Yeah, well flammable. I mean, that's why I didn't use it in the rally mini. I used um, fire stop something. I'll see if I can add a photo to this video of what I used. Yeah. Seam sealer, uh, well no, I used seam sealer on the Rally Mini, but I didn't use it to seal the rear bulkhead, uh, or, or the front of bulkhead. So, anyway, enjoy your Monday. Right, we are back. So last night I got a little bit over enthusiastic on Grinder. What? <laughs> no, with the Grinder, not yet. Yeah, um, that's what you I tell us. The There's no way to be seam sealed. Um, the, the welds here have been built up a little bit because I've ground them down and then you can sort of see to the light of the day. So it's all solid. I just thought, do you know what? I might as well just, just weld up these and then grind them down a little bit and leave it because I don't want it to, uh, to go out. So I'm going to uh, seam seal this. I've ground up along here because it's had a, a floor at some point. And what? Stitch Enjoy in your it. Monday. I'm going to seam seal that because that rear floor, I'm going to put the front floor. Um, and then that's kind of putting a, the nail in the coffin for this this side really. Um, nail and then in the coffin. Go on and weld on the uh, the seal. So plan of action is seam seal, let it dry. Um, first coat of um, the stone guard um, under seal, however you call it. While that's dry, I put it into the seam sealer. Now. Um, <laughs> Turns out, the seam sealer is extremely flammable. Um, <laughs> You're blowing on it. You try and blow it. Make it, it worse. Some more. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> yeah. Silly <laughs> Billy. I'm all out of seam sealer now. And I haven't quite finished the job. Uh... <laughs> Well, it's raining out here, so hopefully it will go off soon, but oh, I'm fuming about that. I just, um, I was just lying on my back, had a little blob of weld, just uh, in front of the rear arch. Uh, right, I managed to get it out and into this uh, bucket of water. Oh my God. Well, God. lesson learned. Seam sealer, probably says it on the back of it somewhere. Seam sealer is highly, highly, highly flammable. Of course, because you read the cost sheet um, before you used it. Make sure well, you took all the precautions that and. Uh, went bad very quickly. PPE so, yeah. and all that sort of Make stuff. Yourself, and... anyone, if you're going to use a sort of style of uh, sealer, oh, bloody hot. Uh, yeah, look, says on the back. 
<laughs> God, my job's coming into effect now, isn't it? It's too time to lecture. There you go. So, uh, the one at the top says that it's flammable. Um, the one or in the middle basically says that it's uh, possibly carcinogenic. Um, so, you know, that's the sort of stuff that's going to going to kill you over the long term, not straight away. And the bottom one says that it's an irritant, effectively. So, um, more, yeah, get it on your hands, that you know, that sort of stuff. Ah, oh, dear. It's not left out of thread or anything, is it? Sure it's not. Jesus! Take the ramps fully away, put it onto the floor, test it, lift it up, wind the uh, adjusters in or out, depending on how if you want it higher or lower. Measure oh, yeah. the other side, make sure it's level across. And then uh, no. try again. Quite a bit of trial and error with that, but Stick. it should be pretty good. Um, yeah, nothing for repair. So, as that fuel, new fuel line, new brake lines, bleed the brakes, um, refit the windows, clean everything down, refit all the interior. Not much then. And check for the oil leak. Still a huge list to go. Oh my. Um, and I'm still refusing to get a haircut until the car's done. <laughs> Good Nick, Ashley.
What camera are you using? Maybe I should get a lens protector for my GoPro. Start to get into a bit of a mess here, yeah? Come on. Tidy up. She's seen some action. Look at that. Don't know if you'll be able to see that. Plus 20, look. <laughs> that's thinking, oh, that looks super clean. But of course, that's just the cap. But they're standard, look. If you can see that, STD, sexually transmitted disease. Oh, all around. My goodness. I don't know what I need is a 360 cam for this, isn't it? Then we can watch the. Oh! I don't think I can afford a 360 cam. But that would be perfect because then you can watch me do this, watch me get tools out of the box, watch the YouTube on the thing, watch me put stuff in containers. Unfortunately, I think my money is on me having to find another crank. But you never know. You never know. Where's the other one? Oh, I've got two of them. Oops. Lasers have I done with that? No, others. Need to upgrade these and put another bit of wood on the other side. But if so, that's I'm not going to do that now because these I made in a rush when I was doing the Bedford. And of course, you know, they they wobble around. So what they need is another bit of wood on the other side, don't they? Or joining together. But look at the time. Almost breakfast time. So I think by the time I've packed my tools away, uh, and I will take those to work, and in my lunch break, I will, I will do something with those. Upgrade, you know, put another bit of wood on the other side, I think. I say I actually made they, these for the Bedford, but they'd be alright for that, wouldn't they? Good, right. Well, that's Monday over. See you tomorrow.